right. Hi, everybody. I'm going to do this again. Hi, Kate. Hi, Tom. Instagram. Come on, come on, come on. Yesterday, guys, we tried this and Instagram went down. So thank you for trying <laughs> back today. I hear him. He's coming in. He's trying to connect. There he is. Woo! We did it. Woohoo! Finally. All right. <laughs> Finally. Hi, my friend. Hello. Nice to see you. We're in the same room uh, together, which is exciting. Hi, everybody, for, uh, for joining. This is the Thinking of Art call series. It's something that I started um, during COVID in 2020. And um, during that time, I've interviewed, I think, over 54 individuals, gallery owners, collectors, a um, wide range of people. And uh, recently, fairly recently, I came across Tom O'Connor's work. And really fell in love with his, uh, his work, his process, his story. It's really interesting, so I'm excited to bring it to you today. A um, little background on Tom. He's an uh, Australian-born, L.A.-based artist. And so uh, in the meantime, before uh, he, start, he and I start speaking, if you're in front of a computer uh, or on your phone, go to artstager.shop. That's the new art shop that I actually just launched recently, and we have number of Tom's paintings on the site. Um, four have actually just sold over the last few days in preparation for this call today. So uh, if you're interested in his work, I encourage you to just click and buy one. Um, and you'll have an opportunity to answer, you know, ask your questions and see the works in detail. So with that, um, welcome, Tom. Thank you for joining me today. I'm in your studio. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited that you're here. Um, yeah. So first of all, like growing up in Australia, how did uh, growing up there really influenced your paintings? I mean, I think it was pretty crucial, right? Um, I grew up in Brisbane, which is a subtropical climate. And so we really like color there. And um, I'm guilty of using a lot of color in my work. Um, but yeah, I think Australia, I have a deep love for and a lot of affection, lot of affection. And, and I always I reference those memories of growing up, you know, going, going to the beach and, and all of that all kind of stuff, of stuff um, is really infused, infused into the energy of my work. Beautiful. Well, we, for those of you listening, you probably don't hear it, but we actually have an echo between us. So there's a slight delay. So if, if, you, if you hear our kind of slowness in, re slowness in responding or uh, a slight delay, that's the reason. Um, so let me jump into how did you make it to L.A.? I mean, growing up in Australia, I mean, beautiful. I mean, I've only flown through Australia on my way to New Zealand. And my dream is to actually drive around in a couple months in Australia. So maybe we'll that um, and what your suggestions are. But how did you make it to L.A.? So how I got here is um, <laughs> it's a whole journey. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, um, and um, uh, basically a group of friends of mine who agency in Australia, Australia which we still have the agency, I'm still the creative director. Um, we all kind of joined together and um, formed a plan to take our agency international. Mm -hmm. And um, alongside that, we decided to do an Australian cafe here in Los Angeles. Um, mm -hmm. So we set up shop in a really cool neighborhood in East LA called Silver Lake. Um, mm -hmm. And it was an amazing experience. And we had that for a couple of years. Um, and I got to, you know, uh, do the design of the store and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and, okay. Yeah, it yeah, was, it was awesome. awesome. Um, well, yeah, I was moving around a little bit to try to get rid of the echo, guys. So I don't think we can – sorry about that if it's bothering you guys, but um, it is what it is. So, you know, the artist that inspired you kind of growing up in Australia, I mean, I feel like I, we should talk about that because I see reflections or inspirations of some major artists. So could you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's some fantastic artists in Australia – that I've always yeah, looked to. Uh, one locally in Brisbane, Brisbane would mm -hmm. be Michael Zavros. 
um, he has such a glamour in his work and it's more about the inspiration of his subject matter, really. Um, but then there's also abstract artists like Del Frank, um, who endlessly inspires me. Um, but in terms of like the greats, you know, Willem, Willem de Kooning is a big one for me. I think what really draws me to him is the energy in the work. You know, it, it almost feels like they're vibrating when you look at them. And mm -hmm. I think that if I could elicit some sort of a similar response yeah. from, from my pieces, um, that would be, you know, the dream. And then also to Cy Trombley, you know, he has such a meditative, almost quietness and stillness to his work. So I love, um, you know, I have his coffee table book right now on my desk. Um, and I, you know, look at that all the time. Well, I find it interesting that one of the, some of the pieces on the site that were really inspired by Twombly sold first on the site. So as, as we started selling work this week, how did that make you feel as an artist, as somebody that's <laughs> thrown, thrown so much energy into this, this? Yeah, I mean, look, every time someone says, I love that piece and I want to buy it, I mean, it's incredible, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. And yeah, I was yeah, so, I was grateful, so grateful, grateful to sell four this week, uh, which was, was amazing. amazing. Um, um, and, and, but yeah, yeah it, it's just it's such, such a validating thing for an artist to be like, yeah, I like that and I want to buy it. Yeah. So talk about um, how music influences your work. And I know you have something really special to share as well. So can you tell us that story and then and how music influences your work? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, when I'm actually painting, it's very um, kinetic and physical. And so I always listen to, uh, listen to music when I paint. And I'm pretty much dancing as I'm painting. So, so um, um, I often, I often listen to particular to artists, artists in a series that I'm in. So, so for, example, for example, my Ricochet, ricochet painting, which is that side humbly mm -hmm. kind of meditative mm -hmm. vibe. Um, um, I listen to I listen a lot to of uh, uh, Bier, yeah. which is an Australian which artist, is and also Hazlitt, which, which is an Australian, Australian artist. artist. Okay. And then, and then I think, think Hazlitt knew, knew that I was listening to his work when I was, when I was painting. painting. And then, and then um, naturally it happened. And, um, um, excitingly, I'm going to be good. doing his album cover. Uh, Amazing. Very cool. Amazing. So when, when is that going to come out? Or when can we get that album cover? Um, um, hopefully, hopefully by the by end of the, the year. year. So, okay. Yeah, that'll be yeah, super, that'll exciting. super exciting. Okay. All right. So now I think what we should do is open it up to questions and at the same time um, have you kind of walk around the studio and do some okay. close-ups of some of the paintings because I like that you work with oil um, mm -hmm. as well as acrylic and talk about the texture because it's, it's sometimes hard you know, you know, images work on to, to get an idea of the texture. So could you do that for us? Maybe the piece behind you, the Hearts on Fire piece yeah, that actually sure. sold. Uh, it's actually a piece I bought. So um, tell us that, the story <laughs> of this painting. Yeah, so yeah, let so me so just flip this around so here. So this one, Hearts on Fire, um, is an emotional painting, I would say. Um, so it has a lot of like, passion and charisma and all of those all things those that happen at, at, you know, at the start of meeting someone new. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so, so what you get what in the work, this is oil, mm -hmm. is a lot is of a these lot like of these connect, connected, 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 connected moments. moments. Um, and yeah, this one was a lot of fun and actually took a couple of hours because it was done almost in like a fit of passion really 
um, which is essentially what the piece is about. Can you get up close to it? Because our reception is a little, it's a little granular. And so I don't know if it's clear for you guys to see it, but um, I love your use of color and kind of the energy that I felt whenever I saw this painting. So some of the paintings that we're going to see are more um, uh, kind of, uh, all of that I think is, is a, a very positive energy. When there was and the complexity of the work um, that really spoke to me. Personally. And I love your use of colors. Thank you. Um, this one actually has a charcoal underdrawing. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what, what gives it these nice, these nice deep grays, deep grays um, that I guess gives it a background to the foreground of those connective um, moments. No, it's great. All right, so can we go from that to the flower piece next to you? Sure. Let's look at that one because the texture on this is, is amazing. Yeah, this yeah, one this is one super, 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 super textured. textured. So, so the sides, the sides as, you as you can see, are really are built, built up, up. Mm -hmm. um, which Gorgeous. I always love to play with. I kind of I call, it call it the equivalent, equivalent of, of art side boob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but this, uh, this, to get to the get texture, texture, I use I a use marble dust, dust. Um, um, and, and, and really, really build, build it up. It up. I love it. And zoom in on the flowers. Each flower is almost like you have these kind of uh, droplets, water droplets. What, why did you do that in these? I'm curious. Um, they were almost like little expression okay. points or almost like the grandma to the flower. Mm-hmm. Cool. I think about it. Kate, I agree with Kate. This is one of my faves too. Kate, what one's your favorite? If anybody has seen the works on the site and wants to ask questions on them, feel free to do that. Um, jump to, is it Love and Other Bruises? It's the next one? Yes. yes. Let's talk about this piece. Okay, so this is an oil. Beautiful. Um, and it has and a charcoal, charcoal underdrawing. Mm -hmm. De Kooning <laughs> used to do charcoal <laughs> underdrawings. <laughs> And I and guess I what guess it does what is it, it works you into the canvas, canvas and kind of gives you that map that of how you're going to approach the, the mm -hmm. canvas. Amazing. Um, so you can, so kind, you of can kind of see where it's scraped, scraped away, away. Mm -hmm. and you get and you bits get of the charcoal, charcoal coming, through. coming through. So this so one this actually was finished, was finished with spray paint. paint. So you can so kind you of see the little mm -hmm. spray paint spray texture. Paint yeah. Through. Yeah. Um, but Beautiful. for me, this one, this one was kind of about, about a sadness, sadness, sadness when a relationship, relationship ends. ends. Um, and um, it, and looks it looks kind of bruised. bruised. You know, you with, know, with um, um, this kind this of titanium, titanium color, color going, into going into this lilac. This lilac. Mm -hmm. So, um, so um, yeah, love yeah, and other bruises is what I call it. Great. I love that piece. And you can really zoom in on it um, on the site as well. So let's move to one of the, um, the ricochet paintings. So I think, oh, did yeah, you yeah. sell out all the ricochet paintings? No, we have. We'll, we have we'll, one left. There's a couple on the site that we're not going to be able to show you because the, the buyer already took them. But yeah, yeah so this crazy. one. You can probably see the Cy Tombly reference. Mm -hmm. But um, it is meditative in a way and is really just about consciousness. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to explore the idea of suspension and thoughts in motion. And, um, you know, letting things breathe. Zoom, zoom in closer on that because it's pencil there as well. You can't really see it until it's you pencil. zoom in some collagen um, to get this beautiful, clear, resin-like substance. Yeah, gorgeous. And then some like nice, I really love color drags. Mm -hmm. 
And you've been talking about doing some, some new paintings on linen. So talk about that and the process yes. kind of that you're going through right now the testing that you're going to yeah, yeah. So, so i am doing, I am a, doing bunch a bunch of testing, testing. um and uh, i'm working, working on, on beautiful, beautiful belgian, belgian linen, linen. Mm -hmm. um, um and you know that for me in itself, itself uh, uh, is, is, beautiful is beautiful to start, start with. with so, yeah. so um, um i basically been inspired, inspired by condensation, by condensation. so, so um, um the way the that way water droplets, droplets form on surfaces, surfaces kind of springboarded me into a whole direction for this new body of work that I'm working on. So I've actually got a whole bunch of different glass shaped water droplet beads. Um, so I'm going to be stitching them into the Belgian linen and then using some resin and some other mediums. So I'm super, super excited about that. So as an entrepreneur that you had an idea to launch a business in California, right? And to take that big jump, right? From Australia to America and then to end up in LA. Um, what would you say is your kind of biggest inspiration through the journey of being a business owner and entrepreneur and then transitioning to focus more in your, you know, the, the art the art process? I think for me, um, I'm lucky that my brain is both right and left and that I am a creative person and I've always been an artist and then I just find myself in business commerce situations. So I always try and bring myself as an artist to everything I'm doing in business. So, um, so um, you know, I started you know, I my first my company first when I was about 18, and I've and learned, learned, you know, incredible, incredible amount, amount from starting that young. young. And then mm -hmm. that, and that then led that me to obviously to launch my first hospitality, hospitality project in Los Angeles. Angeles. And I think and that, that, you know, you know to, bring to bring the same, the same passion, passion and, and outside, outside of the box, of the box thinking, thinking that you that should you have an artist, um, um, serves me in my in entrepreneurial pursuits. Yeah. Well, I'm happy that you're here. And I know, um, you know, it's, it's exciting to see how people are reacting to your work, and the, the friends and the clients of mine that I've been showing your work to, and the positive, and a fee really positive feedback that we're getting so far. So I'm thrilled for you from, from that perspective. But um, can we talk to, about more of the paintings? Because uh, one of the people, yes, I yes. remember who it was, had commented on the painting right behind me. Ooh, um, the skull. And, you know, all through Instagram, all these I've done, I've only done, uh, been in the studio once because of COVID. Um, and I'm excited that I'm here with you now and physically be able to talk about this in person. So what was your inspiration for this painting? And how did it, how did it uh, come alive, come to life? Okay, so, so this, this one, one is a kind of a funny, funny story. story. Uh, we, uh, don't we don't really have really that much weed in Australia. Australia. I mean, mm -hmm. we do, it's kind of bush weed. Mm -hmm. But in LA, but in LA it's, a it's a whole new world. world. And, really, and really, this, really, this, is, this is, about is about getting, getting really, really super high. high. <laughs> <laughs> so, essentially, so essentially, it's a bit, it's a bit of a self-portrait. And it's really super textured. Yeah, and it's big. It's a big piece. And it's really, it's really big. big. Yeah. 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 We've, We've got the blonde lit up. Yeah. 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 And, then, and then the brain, I can see like parts <laughs> of the brain there. Your eyes yeah. are crazy. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, like, all of this, all of this area, area is kind of a kind bit of a, a brain, brain moment. moment. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty much my biggest piece right now. Yeah, I really want to work with you to do some larger pieces because, um, I mean, I think the smaller works are, are so intimate and it's, it probably is, it takes as much time to do the smaller works as it, do some, it does some of the larger pieces anyway. This piece, the Blue yeah, Light yeah. Summer, let's talk about that one yeah, right yeah. above. Um, I, yeah, yeah. I love this piece. I was considering getting this one. 
So you can so probably, you can see, probably the see the tuning, tuning references, references mm-hmm. in this in one. This one. Um, um, but for me, me, this is this about, about finding, finding stillness, stillness amongst, amongst all the noise. All the noise. Mm-hmm. So you can so you kind can of see these see two blue, blue windows. windows. One, mm-hmm. there, one there, one there. Um, um, and it's just, and a, it's just reminder a reminder to, to always, always stop, stop and find the stillness. Because that's where all of the best things are. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And do you find uh, you're able to find your stillness more in LA versus Australia? I'm curious how you I mean, feel like spiritually and mentally. That's a really that's interesting, really interesting question. question. Um, um, Australia, Australia for me, for me is, is so naturally, naturally beautiful. beautiful. And mm-hmm. that, that is, is always such a springboard for meditation, for meditation and being calm. Being calm. But I've but had, I've to, had kind to kind of work, work hard on in Los, in Los Angeles, Angeles to, to find that find calm center. center. Yeah. But, um, but you, can you can find it. it. And um, um, I like to I get like to that, that space, space before, before I paint. Yeah, yeah, it is a little challenging. I find, yeah. you know, the contrast between New York and uh, L.A., for me, it was very dramatic in that I could really focus more on work and I wasn't distracted so much, even though I love New York so much. But... Um, Talk about this piece. So Again. this one this is one called is Remnants, Remnants of a Dream. Of dream. Yeah. And again, and it's um, a bit of a meditative um, um, conscious study, study, really. really. Mm-hmm. And what and I'm what getting, getting out with all of the texture, texture and the and small the little, little spurts, spurts of color, of color is really is just really how thoughts, how thoughts connect and form and yeah Yeah, so so if you could think think about about consciousness consciousness physically physically, which i also do do. um that's Um, what i try to translate translate into this piece piece. but you can see see, it's it's got some very very glossy resiny mediums on it yeah and then um some different different textured textured moments here like the cracking and uh, yeah. So, so talk about music. So in this piece, do you remember what, what songs you were listening to? Were they happy songs? Were they dance songs? <laughs> were they like classical music? Like what were you listening to? Do you remember? For, yeah, for yeah, this, for this one, one, was definitely more of a meditative, meditative playlist. playlist. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so uh, I'm a big I'm fan a big of Bonavera. Bonavera. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I, I was listening, was listening to his live, live set, set at the at Sydney, Sydney Opera House. House. On YouTube, on YouTube when I painted I this. this. On repeat. Yeah. yeah. What do you miss the most about Australia? Besides your family. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Um, I just miss how clean and beautiful it is, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and and it's, it's a very easy place to live. Yeah. Um, Everybody says that. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah. yeah. And what do you love the most about being in L.A.? I mean, L.A. is just so much so fun. fun. And I've been and lucky, lucky to, meet to meet so many, so many amazing, amazing people. people. And, um, and um, you know, it, the city does really, really inspire me. me. I, often I often think, think about, about the type, the type of, person of person or the client, or the client who would buy. Put the camera so we can see you. Oh, Put yeah. The camera. Yeah. Um, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, often, I often think, think about, about who would buy my, my paintings. paintings. Yeah. And so and when so I'm in different neighborhoods in LA, I, I kind of think about, about, oh my gosh, oh my gosh like, like this person, this person might, be might be interested in that. that or, or, so, so, you know, you know the city's so, so diverse. And yeah. that's really amazing and exciting. So I like to know more on that. Yeah, that's good. new ideas. So speaking of new ideas, what do you have planned coming up that you can share with us? Um, so a couple of okay. things. Um, uh, obviously, obviously, all of my work is available, is available now, now on artstage.com. Art mm-hmm. Dot shop, sorry. sorry. Um, uh, and so, and so that is going to be great for fall. fall. And we've and already, already sold, sold four, which is nuts. nuts. Yeah. Um, um, but I'm basically diving into my, my linen, linen pieces. pieces. 
I'm so excited about these. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll show, show you, you um, a, sample a sample that I got. That I got. You guys can see the texture. So, flip this around. But um, you can see it's like a really toothy, textured Belgian linen. Um, and for those that don't know, the price difference of linen versus regular canvas is what? Four times more expensive? About oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Really or more? Yeah. And I like to get them handmade. Um, um, it just really, really adds, adds to the overall, overall feel. feel. So mm -hmm. um, I'm, excited I'm excited to start, to start experimenting more with this series. series. Beautiful. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. So what are some of the pieces that you're thinking of doing on the linen? So, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, gonna working, be working with resins, resin. mm -hmm. uh, uh, which, which I have I done have a little bit in the past, box, but I'm excited, but I'm excited to, to take, it take it into this context, context with the linen. With the linen. Um, um, and, and also, also with, with the glass beads. beads. So, okay. so like, as I was, as saying, I was saying before, before like, like water droplets. Water droplets. Um, um, and I was, I was sitting, sitting in the car, in the car one day, day when it was when raining. It was raining. Mm -hmm. And I was just staring, staring at the, at the rain, on rain on the window. The window. And I was like, I was why like, am I staring, staring at this for so long? long. And um, <laughs> um, yeah, that, yeah that, all of these all ideas connected. In my brain, yeah. and, um, and um, that has that led has me led to, to this new this series, series of work, of work which, which I'm starting to work on at the moment. moment. Amazing. And thank you, Jeremy, for uh, buying three of his incredible pieces. <laughs> I'm glad you love them. And if you go to Jeremy's Instagram, you can actually see one of them that he posted yesterday, or today or yesterday. Um, yes, I'm so excited that Jeremy got those. One of the smile pieces. So, uh, yeah, we were talking about that. So I think Tom's going to do some more of the smile paintings. So because yeah. he was so inspired by uh, the reaction of Jeremy and others. So you know, look out for more of those to come. Yeah. For sure. um, what else do you want to talk about? So we talked, did we talk about oh, this little flower painting over here? We didn't, these two, we didn't talk oh, yeah, much yeah. about these two, these two little gems. Yeah. Yeah. So again, so again, these are super, super textured. Um, um, this one this was one done was with done a lot, lot of gel. gel. Uh, uh, you can kind of see, I'll zoom in here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And super, super glossy. glossy. Yeah. yeah. You know, and some people don't really get abstract paintings. So I like that you do the abstract work and then you also do the florals I think that are, are really stunning. I love all the texture. Yeah, I mean, I, I love painting flowers. flowers. They're so, interesting, so interesting to me. To me. Um, um, and almost, almost otherworldly in another mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I'm so endlessly, endlessly inspired, inspired when, I, when paint I paint flowers. flowers. This is this another is one, one called, called Entrinium Complex. Complex. Mm -hmm. um, again, um, again, with the sides, sides, I love I to kind of just... just Slap the excess paint, paint on the side. On the side. Um, but this one this has one like has a, a beautiful, beautiful blue, blue colorway, colorway in the mm -hmm. background. But yeah, you yeah, can you see, see like, like just a lot, just a lot of heavy lot of texture. texture. Yeah, and you're using marble, marble dust. Talk about that. Because some people are like, wow, if it was an all oil that would take months and months to dry. Um, so yeah. talk about that process and why you decided to use marble dust in these to create more texture. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, was playing, I was playing, playing around, around with different, different texture, texture mediums. mediums. Mm -hmm. And, and um, um, I, think I think a lot of people look at my work, work and go, oh my God, you use so much paint. paint. Mm -hmm. But I'm but mixing, mixing it with, with the marble, the marble dust. dust. Yeah. So, so it's, it's um, um, marble dust with polymer. And then I mix in my acrylics to get that really layered, thick, textured look, which is called impasto. And then I use a palette knife to kind of put those paintings together. Amazing. Well, I'm just so thrilled that we had time today to do this. Again, for those of you that tried to join yesterday when Instagram went down, um, thank you for joining us again today. We'll archive this. You can rewatch it, share it with your friends. Please go to the artstager.shop 
to see more of Tom's beautiful paintings and to learn about him. So with that, I think we'll wrap it up. We're a little, little over time. So thank awesome. you both. Uh, or thank you, uh, Celia. I look forward to seeing you next time in New York. And thank you for everybody for joining. Thank you, Tom, and for your time for today. Me. You're welcome. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye.